Well, I guess it's no secret uh, that you guys have worked together before because of Captain America. So uh, what are you most looking forward to in this one? Because the fans are going through, you know, are going to be on a ride that they've never had before. I'm, for personally, I'm excited to see what it was that we filmed together because we had a really unique character arc. Yep. and storyline that I'm proud of and I'm excited to watch. And I'm excited to see what the tone is that we find with all these different movies in one film. I'm really curious to see how that, that turns out. When we met last night, you were just about to get in and watch the footage for the first time. So what did you think? I was blown away by it. And I, seriously, I've been, t I've been talking about it all day long. I couldn't believe it. The confidence of the filmmaking, I, the, their ability to, to turn the tone, you know, 180 degrees on a, on a dime and, mm -hmm. and you just totally go with it. The, it's, it's really, it's, it's really something. That 25 minutes, I was blown away. Yeah, me too. And uh, it felt like there was a lot of room for improvisation, although you would think that for movies like that with so many actors, it had to be, you know, very tight in terms of script. But were you able to just infuse more things? 100%. The mm -hmm. Russo brothers were really, really open to that stuff. In fact, they were, they, they really wanted us to. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I can't remember improvising. I feel like improv. Oh, we, yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, what did we? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that was all yeah, improvised. Was I all totally improvised. forgot. Yeah. It's and that was a you. really heightened moment. <laughs> 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 Well, because, you know, we don't know too much about it, and I guess you don't know a lot about it either. Do you go back to the comic books and to, you know, the characters themselves to try to dive as much information as possible on them? And I, how much is available? I did in the beginning, and then it, the character became her own being from the films because mm. it's... The, the comic books are nice source material for for stories mm. um, to come, but uh, she's now a part of, she's a different version of herself in the movies than she is in the comics because of this no X-Men situation and yeah. she's actually a mutant. And so for our purposes, um, between our characters, it's actually more interesting that we end up having a romance because my backstory that we've created has been that my powers have come from the stone that is in his head. Mm. And so that's an extra layer of, yeah, of we connection share the that we share. share. the same source of our power. Um, yeah, I, yeah. It's like, yeah. Do you look in the comic books ever again? I did, um, but you know, you're working with, you know, Kevin Feige is like the Yoda of, <laughs> of, of, of Marvel. He yeah. knows, you know, if you have yeah. a question, um, or if you do something, if you, you know you're, you're you're moving in the wrong direction, you're, you're going to get steered very quickly, you know, uh, uh, to the right direction, you know, and, and the, the, you, you're incredibly supported by all these people. So, uh, I mean, some actors would not have been familiar with the superheroes and comic books before they started being in the MCU, and others would have. Uh, where do you stand, and how much do you become a fan because you're so immersed in that experience? I wasn't a comic book reader, mm. but my friend, my, my brother um, was. And so even when I had my first meeting with Joss, he was one of those fans that was trying to guess which character it was. And he was like, oh, I'm pretty sure it's Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. They've been talking mm. about introducing them. So he had all the information at the beginning for me, which was fun. And then I used him as a fan to see what it is about the character and her stories that he as a fan finds most interesting, kind of started there. Um, and now I'm just a fan of this world and these films and definitely of hers. And I have ideas of where I'd like her to go if they continue to use me. But. Paul, fan before, fan no, after? No, I mean, I, it, well, it didn't seem to be such a big thing in the 70s in London, mm. you know. And, um, um, but definitely a fan now. And it's uh, been an incredible ride and they're really rich stories to kind of, tell it's been fun do you guys watch the other films obviously this one is the you know the graduation party but do you watch the others like have you watched black panther uh or the yeah. ones you were not in 
I think I've watched everyone except for Thor 2. I was thinking about we we got asked this earlier. I was thinking, oh, I've seen everyone, and then I thought, no, I haven't. I haven't seen Thor two. I'm thought. missing two, but I don't want to miss two of nineteen. Yeah, two is the one set in Asgard, right? Huh? No, Thor no, I, no, Thor two. No, the first one is set in Asgard. Thor two too. is the one where they're on Earth. Earth. Um, they're trying to make it work on Earth, and they're like fighting through portals. Um. Okay. Yeah, and then Thor one is the one that Kenneth Branagh directed. Oh. So, okay. Oh. Opposite way around. Mm. Okay. But both of them go to Ashgard at some point. Mm -hmm. And how do I remember this? I have no idea. But I feel like me too, uh, you know, as a, as a journalist, I'm immersed into the world <laughs> as well by covering them. And, uh, and I do get very curious about the characters and go back on Wikipedia and listen to the fans and stuff yeah. like that. So how much are the fans important to your journey with the MCU? They make this universe possible. I think we are making the movies for them. And that's pretty much the goal is to make them happy and surprised and excited. Does that mean that going to Comic-Con is a unique experience? It's certainly It's that. definitely unique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't been in a long time. Did you go anytime recently? Last time I thought I was there was for Ultron. Well, maybe that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was only two years ago, I think. Mm, four. Four? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Time is, is, <laughs> is really flying. Yeah. <laughs> and, and how much uh, preparation are we talking about every time? Do you have to retrain all the time? Do you have to be in physically in shape for them? I try and stay in shape generally. <laughs> That's true. You, you're an actress in Hollywood. Yeah. That's kind of the prerequisite. <laughs> you have to get skinny or something. Yeah, well, you know, I try and stay in shape too because... 46 is just a lot of work if you let it get too far. <laughs> it takes forever. It used to be like two weeks before you'd start. Mm -hmm. you, know. And, you know, now you, you know, I, 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 I got to try and keep myself svelte. <laughs> well, on another note, completely, you're quite active on, on social media of, uh, about the films and about the character. How much do you enjoy that rapport with the fans? Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's an, in, that's an interesting thing. I really like having a real, it's really nice when you meet somebody on the street and they mm -hmm. say, you know, I really, I love the films or whatever. That's a really nice, um, um, interaction. I'm really conflicted about social media. Mm. I do it. It's a work thing. Um, I've tried to sort of embrace it. I don't let my kids do it. And, um, so I d yeah I don't I'm conflicted about it. We're in the same boat. Conflicted. I think I should delete it every day. <laughs> well, mm. I think that's an easy decision to make for your work. It's great for your personal life. It shouldn't be relevant. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is this is my viewpoint on it. Yeah. And finally, uh, besides your characters, what are your favorite uh, characters from the MCU? I'm loving Tessa Thompson's character. Oh, mm. she's Valkyrie. rad. Yeah. Valkyrie yeah, is red. Valkyrie. I'm just loving. It's just funny and fun, and she gets to be just like a drunk, and yeah. <laughs> it's just really funny. Um, and so Trax I, is amazing. Trax yeah, is Trax a, is great. Trax is really an amazing funny. Character.